Hi, I'm Jim Heavey from Wood Magazine, and we're here at AWFS 2013 with Nathan Stancho from Technotool. And I walked by the booth before, and I kind of thought I was looking at a drill press, but I've never seen one that looks like this. Can you tell me a little bit about this tool? Sure, Jim. The first thing you'll notice about this drill press is that it's direct drive. There's no belts or pulleys. What that means is that there's no vibration, uh, no losses, and of course, uh, it's exceptionally quiet. Mm -hmm. Quieter than any other drill press on the market. It's intelligent, it's energy efficient, and it's safe. Hmm. And I see you've got a digital readout or, or a uh, uh, readout on the front of this. So um, coming back to the main screen, we've yes. got um, obviously the set speed, depth. Uh, you, can, you can set the depth and it's got loads. So the motor itself has its, it has its own load sensing. So it's thinking all the time. Correct. So it's got a sensor in place that knows where the spindle is at any at any moment, and okay. um, it will tell you when load is coming on. So if we turn it on, you'll see the load coming up. Uh -huh, I see that. Right. Yes. Yep. Come oh, down no to the kidding. plunge, and that is auto depth huh. stop. So Isn't you could do nice? a series of holes all to the same depth automatic okay. automatically. And is that dependent on the bit itself? So if I were to have sure. a Forsner bit, yep. or... we've thought about that. So if you go to the speed chart, and uh, you'll see I've got the twist bit. So if we go to uh, a Brad point, for example, okay. we want to do a three millimeter, and we want to go into, say, an acrylic. Oh, look at that! It says you should be running at fifteen hundred RPM. So and we liken this. That. Yes, we liken this to having your woodwork teacher over the top of you, telling you how to do <laughs> the stuff. Excellent. So now it's going to take care of all that. What about um, too much torque on something? Let's just say you're cutting a softer material, a pine, let's say, and get yep. to a knot inside. Yep. What does this do? Okay, it, it, will, it will tell you that it's not right. So what we've got there on board here is uh, a vibration sensor. Okay. So it will measure in the X, Y, and Z axis any movement. So if things aren't right, it will come back and say, hey, I'm not happy with this. Okay. It could also indicate, say, your, your drill bit is, um, uh, is too blunt. So, okay, so it, a little bit dull, possibly. Correct. Too? So okay. it says, "Hey, check your check your drill bit because I'm getting huh. excess uh, vibration here. Mm -hmm. um, I think you should check that out." Okay. What we know is uh, there's three major dangers with drill presses. One is is a broken drill bit. Uh, two is getting your hands uh, or gloves or too sleeves close caught. To the worker. Yep. Correct. And three is your chuck key left uh, left in. Mm. So what we've got is a proximity sensor that oh, will uh, shut the machine down. Um, should it sense any of those um, okay. conditions. So again, this looks like a terrific machine that just is going to take this this whole technology to a new level. Yeah, we're, um, we're, we're pretty the excited. programming in here evidently can be updated. Correct, yeah, we've got USB uh, capabilities. So mm -hmm. uh, what we always do is future-proof. So when you buy a, a Nova or Technotool product, we, we look after you for life. So uh, yeah, we would give the user the ability to uh, upgrade to the latest software as it came available. It's just a very nice unit. Um, I think you're going to do really well with it, and I really appreciate being invited into the booth. Nice. Thanks so much. Thanks, Jim. Cheers.